Soldiers trained in precise, close-order drill develop alertness and instinctive obedience to commands, both on the parade ground and on the battlefield. Such drill sets the standard of performance for individual and group actions and finally builds the confidence and cooperation so essential to morale. The objective of this program is to teach you the blueprint for a drill lesson. After viewing this program, you'll be able to state the stages used and the correct format for a drill lesson. This program can be used in four instructional settings. Individual learning, small group learning, training aid, instructor revision. The program will follow the format of the drill lesson in a step-by-step -step manner, using the present arms from the shoulder and shoulder arms from the present as the example lesson. A drill lesson is divided into three phases. Introduction, body, conclusion. The first phase we will deal with is the introduction. The introduction is divided into three sections, preliminaries, revision, approach. Typically, the squad marches to the instructional location and reports to the instructor. Squad, present, sir. Jerry Sheridan, fall in. Next, the instructor forms up the squad. The instructor forms the squad by positioning a right marker and having the squad fall in. Marker, on the command move. Two paces from and facing me at the short trail. Move. Squad, on the command move, at the short trail. Form up on the left of the marker at one arm's interval. Move. Heads up. Move smartly. He gains control quickly by fault checking right from the start. After the squad is formed up, the instructor numbers the squad. Ready? By giving each squad member a number, the instructor can identify each individual during the lesson. What? Come on! One, one two, three! Sure! Beef it out! Squad number! Oh, 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 oh. The final step in the preliminaries is the dressing of the squad. This ensures even spacing and establishes a directing flank. Squad! Right! Shoot the left foot forward 40 centimetres and drive that other foot down. Squad right. Cross. Squad. Eyes. Ha. Good movement. The instructor has completed the preliminaries and the squad is at start position for the revision. The revision is where the instructor drills the squad in movements related to the subject to be taught. This is done to enable the instructor to establish the standard of the squad and to get the squad thinking along the lines of the subject to be taught. Squad, shoulder, arm. Cut the arm away. Number two and number four. Stand up straight during that movement. Don't reach down for the rifle. Number one and number seven. 
fault correction by the instructor is of paramount importance. First, he nominates the fault. This alerts the whole squad to the fault. Then he nominates the individual or individuals who are at fault. Squad! Order! Move your rifle back. Number two. Remember to hold the rifle just above the ground on the second movement and let it come to rest on the right side of the toe cap as you cut the arm away on the third movement. Number one, four, seven and eight. Fault correction continues throughout the revision. As movements improve, the instructor recognises good performance and encourages the squad. Good movement, numbers five and eight. You are all looking a lot better. Let's keep working like that. The instructor completes revision by bringing the squad to the start position for the body of the lesson. Squad, rest. The next section of the introduction is the approach. Here the instructor gives the statement of objective and the reason for learning. During this period of instruction, I am going to teach you the present arms from the shoulder and the shoulder arms from the present. These movements enable you to pay compliments to officers of the rank of major and above and visiting dignitaries. You will be required to carry out these movements on ceremonial parades to salute senior officers and dignitaries and the unit colours when marched on and off parades. At the end of this period, you'll be able to correctly perform all movements in the correct sequence, judging the time. The introduction sets the scene for the lesson. In summary, the sections of the introduction are preliminaries, Revision, approach. Now comes the body of the lesson. Here, the new skills are taught. For ease of instruction, the body is taught in limited stages and in a logical sequence. The steps for each stage are open the stage, present the information, practice, confirm the stage, close the stage, link to the next stage. In this drill lesson, the demonstration performance method used to conduct each stage is a complete demonstration followed by demonstration, explanation, practice. Now let's look at these steps in detail. The instructor starts the body with a complete demonstration Watch now a demonstration of the present arms from the shoulder and shoulder arms from the present. Position. Present arm. Shoulder arm. Rest. The complete demonstration opens the first stage. The instructor now simplifies the movements by breaking them down into numbered segments. He continues to open the stage. These movements are taught by numbers. Watch now what happens on the command by numbers. Present arms, one, set. By numbers, present arms, far, rest. Force the rifle to a central position in front of the body with the barrel vertical and about eight centimetres from the body and the right arm fully extended. With the left hand, seize the rifle as low as possible on the stock with the fingers together around the rifle and the thumb pointing vertically up the left side of the rifle. He has just demonstrated and explained the first movement of the present arms by numbers. This is the presentation of the information for the first stage of the body. 
Now, the instructor practices the squad in that movement. First, he conducts collective practice. Squad! Point numbers! Present arms! Squad! Fire! Ensure the rifle is central to the body. Number three, number five. Good. Study. Keep the rifle parallel to the body. Number one. Many faults will occur early in the lesson. The instructor will concentrate on those faults common to the lesson. Other faults can be corrected progressively through the lesson. You are. Point numbers. Present arms. Squad. Bark. Keep the thumb pointing up the stock. Number four and number six. Once the instructor has observed that the squad can perform the movement, he orders individual practice of the movement. This is done to check the faults of each squad member. Individual practice in that movement. Go on. It is important here that the instructor moves closer to the squad so he can check each member's performance correcting faults and praising good movements where appropriate. That's good. Make sure your left hand is down close to the magazine as possible. That's better. This Make method sure of continual left. practice, yeah, correction and practice will lead ultimately to the highly precise Good. drill movements required. Your rifle is not central. Push it further across to the left. Let's bed up. Keep working. Once the instructor is satisfied with the individual performances, he returns to his previous position and practices the squad as a whole. Point numbers, present arms, squad, fire. This confirmatory collective practice ensures that the squad is good enough to progress to the next limited stage. Good movement. Let's go on. Squad rest. During the last movement of the confirmatory practice, the instructor adopts the position for the next stage. In summary, the instructor opened the stage and presented the information by demonstration and explanation. He then practiced the squad collectively and individually and confirmed the stage with a confirmatory collective practice. Finally, he closed the stage by giving feedback to the squad that they had completed a good movement and were ready to go on. He will now link to the next stage. Watch now. What happens on the command by numbers? Present arms to. Zion. By numbers. Present arms to. Rest. The instructor opens the next stage by demonstrating the subsequent movement by numbers. Once again, the stage will be conducted using the method demonstration, explanation, practice. Having seen the stage opened with the demonstration, let's follow the conduct of a stage one more time. Lift the right foot 15 centimetres and place it firmly on the ground with the instep touching the heel of the left foot and forming an angle of 540 mils. At the same time, seize the butt with the right hand with the fingers together on the right of the butt and pointing straight in continuation of the line of the arm and with the thumb flat on the left of the butt. The instructor has presented the information by demonstration and explanation. He now practices the squad. Squad! Point numbers! Present arms! Squad! Two! Too slow. Number three and four. Move your boot further into your instep. Number six. Good. Position of your right hand. Number five.
Et moi, squad, boy numbers, prison arms, squad, two. Two slow, number four. Tu vois, individual practice, that movement, go on. Lift your foot up, 15 centimetres. Keep your fingers straight on the right hand side of the butt. Ensure your hand is in the same line as your forearm. Good. Having conducted collective and individual practice, the instructor once again confirms the stage with a final practice. Squad position! Bow numbers! Present arms! Squad two! Move your right hand at the same time as the right boot. Number one and two. Too slow. Number five. Move your right boot in one sharp movement. Number eight. Chua. Bow numbers. Present arms. Squad two. Not a bad movement. Let's go on. Squad rest. Watch now what happens on the command. Bow numbers. Shoulder arms. One. Shoot. The cycle of stages now continues until all movements have been taught by numbers. For drill lessons, the number of stages will depend on the complexity of the movements and how many numbered stages they are divided into. The program will now move ahead by assuming that the instructor has conducted the two stages for the shoulder arms from the present by numbers. He will now practice the squad in all the movements of the present arms from the shoulder and shoulder arms from the present by numbers. This practice confirms that all the movements are able to be conducted by numbers before going on to practice calling the time. Squad, by numbers, present arms, squad, bar. Squad, two. Get the rifle in the center of the body. Number one and three. Good. Steady. Ensure the thumb is pointed directly up the stock. Number seven. Extend the right arm fully. Number eight. Practice continues until the instructor is satisfied that the squad can progress to the next stage, which involves executing the movements, calling the time. My numbers. Shoulder arms. Squad. Bar. Good movement. Squad. Two. Squad. Rest. As with all drill, these movements are carried out with a regulation pause. Watch now a demonstration of present arms from the shoulder and shoulder arms from the present calling the time. Shoot. Like all stages, the instructor links in with the direction to watch a demonstration and then opens the stage and presents information using a demonstration and explanation. Present! Arms! One, two, three, one. Shoulder! Arms! One, two, three, one. Rest! The drill movements are performed to a speed of 40 movements to the minute. The timing is called out in a loud voice. For the first practice, I will call the time. After that, you will call the time. Order, present, uh, one, two, three, one. Act on the command one, number three, four, and six. Once again, Fault correction is important to help squad members master the movements. Good. 
The instructor now has the squad practice the movements, calling the time. Squad, calling the time. Present! Ah, 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 ah. Work together. You can do better than that. Both the timing out. Squad, uh, calling the time. Shoulder! Ah, 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 ah. The instructor continues to practice the squad calling the time. He continues to check faults, ensuring that only one or two faults are corrected at any particular time. As the squad improves, the instructor encourages them and praises good movements. Good movement! You're working well! Squad rest! Once the instructor is satisfied that the squad can perform the movements calling the time, he practices them judging the time. For the rest of the practice, you are to judge the time. Squad, judging the time, present arms. Work together, don't lose the timing. Number two and number five. Squad, judging the time. Shoulder! Ow! Too slow! Number two and number four. Reminder, not a bad movement. Work together. The practicing of the squad continues until the instructor is satisfied that a good standard has been achieved. He then moves on to the conclusion of the lesson. In summary, the body was broken up into limited stages. These were conducted using a demonstration performance method called demonstration, explanation, practice. To promote easy progressive learning, the movements were taught by numbers, then by calling the time, and finally, the squad was practiced judging the time. Now comes the conclusion of the lesson. The instructor is satisfied that the squad has achieved an acceptable standard in performing the movements. The conclusion is made up of the following sections. Clear up doubtful points. Test of objective. Summary. Statement of relevance. Preview of instruction. Dismissal. Let us see these sections in more detail. Firstly, the instructor asks if there are any questions on what has been taught. The instructor now conducts a test of objective. This determines if the objective of the lesson has been achieved. OK, let's see how good you are. Squad, present, arms. Shoulder! Arm! The instructor now provides feedback to the squad on the test of objective. Squad rest! Well done! Good movements overall. With further practice, you'll be up to a ceremonial parade standard. Some of you are not getting the correct timing between movements. Some of you need to concentrate on cutting the arm away on the final movement of the shoulder arms. After the test of objective, the instructor summarizes the main teaching points of the lesson. In summary, the present arms from the shoulder and the shoulder arms from the present involves crisp and well-coordinated foot and hand movements. Remember the main points. The rifle is to be vertical and central in front of the body. On the present, with the left hand at the bottom of the stock, the thumb pointing up. On the shoulder arms, the arm needs to be cut away on the second movement as the right foot is driven down. Next, the instructor reinforces the reason for learning in a brief statement of relevance. 
These movements are important because you will be required to pay compliments to officers of the rank of major and above, as well as visiting dignitaries. On ceremonial parades, these movements are used to pay such compliments as required, including the saluting of unit colours as they are marched on and off parade. Now, the instructor previews the next instruction on drill and the next period of instruction for that day. Your next period of drill instruction will be ground and take up arms. Your next instruction today is map reading in the close training area at stand six at 1400 hours. Finally, the instructor dismisses the squad. Duty student, fall out, march off. Sir! Out, we'll move to the right in single file. Right! Ta! All drill lessons follow the same blueprint. This program has used the lesson present arms from the shoulder and shoulder arms from the present to illustrate this blueprint. Remember the main headings. 